Last night, I listened to a portion of this Twitter space that was basically saying that Caribbeans and Africans are better than the so-called black Americans. And they had black Americans on there explaining themselves. They were asking questions about what their spirituality was if they are Native Americans. And they were telling black Americans what they are and what they aren't. I want to say to the so-called black Americans that you don't need to explain anything to anyone. Stop explaining yourself to people that fled. These are immigrants. These are people that in many cases stole their way into this country. These are people that are reaping the benefits off the civil rights movement, off the fact that many of your ancestors died, that were hanged. And I even heard someone make fun of slavery and your ancestors. And you had the audacity to be on there explaining things to them, trying to prove your lineage when you have nothing to prove to anyone. I find it quite interesting that many of these same so-called Africans that come over here and become highly upset when black Americans refuse to claim Africa. I'm one, I personally don't claim Africa. I am not from Africa. I have no connections to Africa. I don't. And my question is, if the so-called Africans are so concerned about black Americans, so-called black Americans, because none of us are black. And I remember a time when uh, these Africans would tell you proudly, I am not black. I am African. They would tell you boldly that they were not black and they would brag about how African they are. I am Africa. I'm from Kenya. I'm Nigerian. But they refuse to say that they were black. Now they want to say they're black. They want to claim blackness when blackness is from slavery. That's a color. That's not a race. That's not a nationality. Black is not a culture. It's a color. So now many of these Africans want to claim blackness. They tell you that they are black. And I saw a title that was saying that uh, black Americans, to some extent, black Americans were saying that Africans weren't black. And they were questioning, why aren't we black? Whereas before, Africans didn't want to be referred to as black. They didn't want to associate with the Akatas. They come here and their race status is white. They marry white and they are told not to mix with the so-called black Americans. They say the so-called black Americans are violent. That they would kill them. And I shared a story before of this guy that's from South Africa. His name is Joseph. And when he first came through Syracuse University, they told them not to uh, mix with the so-called black Americans, of course, because they were going to rob them. They were going to kill them. They were going to harm them. See, this is the poison that's fed to these immigrants minds when they come here. And they buy into it and they come here with the attitude thinking that they are above you when in reality they're not. They're bottom feeders. They're feeding off of you, off of your protest and your civil rights movements. And that's why it's not wise to always welcome other people into your protest. If you have an agenda that you're trying to push, it is not wise to invite other people in. 
And I was talking to, off this topic, I was talking to one of my family members and I was saying that um, because she showed me some videos of a Korean gospel choir and they were singing all so-called black American gospel music, quartets. And I find that interesting because these are the same people in many cases that don't like black Americans, that trash black Americans, that insult black Americans, but yet they come and they steal black American culture. Now, they were talking about culture on that Twitter space. And you have to realize that the so-called black Americans took what was meant to harm them and turned it into something good. The so-called black Americans are incredibly amazing people. Yes, in this day and time, they have their issues. They have their problems. There's a lot of division among the so-called black Americans like there are with the countries in Africa, on the continent of Africa, where they are sitting on gold and diamonds and natural resources. And they allow China to take over their ports. How can you borrow money from China and not be able to pay it back with all of the natural resources that's in Africa? And from what I've studied or read, China set up their own police station in certain countries in Africa. But yet, you have the audacity to come here and now feel that you're so intelligent and you look down your nose at black Americans and talk about the problems that they have to face. Well, thinking back when I was growing up, back in the 60s and the 70s, I remember seeing Africans on TV with the big bellies, with mud and dirt over their face, with flies swarming around them, those care commercials. And I remember when I got my little allowance, I would take some of my little allowance or money that I made from selling grit newspapers, and I would send money to Africa, thinking I was helping these poor people that I see on television that were eating slop. And now you have these same people that grew up and came here and now is giving praise and honor to the white man. Whereas back in that time, you weren't allowed to come here. It was because of the foundational black Americans that you are able to come here now. And they're still putting that divide and conquer spirit within you. So black Americans don't need to explain nothing to anybody because when it comes to slavery, there were very few Africans that were brought here. If you look at technology that they had back then, they didn't have the capacity to bring that many Africans from the continent. And I didn't see any of those tribal leaders coming to look for those Africans that were brought to the Americas or that was spread throughout the world. Where were these Africans when the so-called black Americans were being whipped? Now, if you take an American hostage, I don't know about now because Biden's in office, but if you take American hostage, these white folks are going to get their people. Look at what they're doing in, in Ukraine and how these white folks are banding together for the Ukrainians. You have Americans here that are suffering and being evicted out of their homes, but yet they send in billions and trillions of dollars to Ukraine and weaponry to Ukraine. That's how white folk band together, but I didn't see no boats come over here to try to 
get these so-called black Americans. And I don't see any African countries nowhere on the continent that's offering free land to so-called black Americans that come, quote unquote, back home. Where's the free land? Where's their share? You say that they're Africans. You want them to claim Africa so that they can fight your wars. That they can protest in favor of you to benefit you. But yet, where's the land? I don't see any Africans protesting for black Americans to be given land. With no strings attached. And offered citizenship. Full citizenship. I don't see that happening. But you're quick to come here and talk about how we're all the same. You're African. You're black. You're black. You're black. You're black. You're black. Black is a color. My skin complexion is brown. I am not black. I don't claim black. You do. And you do it only because it benefits you in this political system here in North America. So, black Americans, stop explaining yourself. See, because only a few Africans were brought here. There were people that were already here. See, so everybody is not the same. Even so-called black Americans are not the same. Yes, their skin is the same color. Many of them came through the same struggles, but they are not the same. Just like if I were to call someone that's from Nigerian, I call you South African. You wouldn't mind that, would you? Because you're, you're both Africa. What about if I call an Ethiopian an Egyptian? Or I call someone from Turkish. Now, I've been to Turkey. You got some black Turkish people there. You saying that they're from Africa? And I know somebody's going to say, oh, you need to go back and study because we're all from Africa. Well, you got white people that take that DNA test and they have a percentage of Africa in them. So would you say that they're African, too? Can they claim African, although their skin is white because they took a DNA ancestry test? So black Americans, stop explaining yourself. You don't need to explain yourself to people that had flies swarming around them and their bellies were sticking out and they're eating slop because they're hungry. And now they're too proud to associate with you. Now, I want to deal with this, this Africa booty scratching nonsense that, that's hurting these Africans' feelings. We all coming up, the so-called black Americans coming up, we all had to deal with bullying from other brown people. See, that that's that's just a given. You you're gonna be bullied. You're gonna be bullied. Either you're gonna be the bully, the person that do the bullying, or you're gonna be bullied. Right? But it makes you strong. See, that's why the so-called black American is so strong. They try to destroy us many times and did not succeed. They did not, every time they tried to destroy the so-called black American, the brown person, they did not succeed. Just like in the Bible times, when they tried to destroy Israel, and they wanted to kill, they killed the firstborn son, and they kept multiplying. Well, that's the way it is with so-called black Americans. They can't be destroyed. These are God's people. Read your Bible. And I know there's many of you that don't. And in that Twitter space, I heard even Africans trying to take credit for the Bible. Oh, it came from Africa. It had its origin in Africa. Right? Well, if you're that proud of Africa, why did you flee? Why are you here in North America? To get education? What, Africa don't have better education than Americans? Than the so-called white man that you speak against? Or the so-called white man that you praise. See, Africans have so many scams to the point where as long as it benefits them, they're going to come here and kiss the white man's behind, but yet talk about the white man. 
going to talk about how there's people that they don't even like you and you want to claim Native American origin. My mother is Native American, full-blooded. Full-blooded Native American. That's my mom's. I recall when I was a baby, I was her papoose. We was referred to as her papoose. My sons, my grandchildren, those are my papoose, right? And growing up, we didn't hear that coming up in our household. It wasn't all about that blackness, black this, black that, colored this. I didn't really think about that until school because it was the so-called black Americans that kept bringing it to my attention. What are you? What do you mix with? And my sons get that even till today. Because it wasn't a big thing to us. It wasn't important to us. We didn't um, lean on or dwell on race. Yes, back in the 60s, there was a lot of racism going on. Real racism. But I never had to deal with that. See, that wasn't in my household growing up. So, anyway... I just wanted to say, black Americans, stop, stop explaining yourself. They had this one sister on there and she kept trying to explain herself and trying to explain her, her, her heritage. And they were questioning the culture, like what cultures do black Americans have? And they talked about fried chicken and, 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 and one person uh, mentioned something about chitlins, you know, hog guts. That's slave food. That's food that was given to the slaves. Stuff that the white man would not eat. They gave it to the slaves. See? And the, the same so-called black people took those hog guts and the trash that the white man gave them and created a delicacy. And now you got white people that's loving it. They're actually selling it in the stores and white people are buying it. They used to tease black people about fried chicken and watermelon. Now, when you go inside a KFC, they have a long line of white people in there eating the same food. If you look at the music, like I mentioned about that, um, that Korean mass choir, and then there's another one, Tokyo mass choir, where they're singing um, black gospels. Black quartet music, you know, could have been dead, sleeping in my grave. You made old death, be, get back and behave. They never went through anything. So they really don't understand what those songs are saying and what the so-called black American went through when those songs were made and created. But it's got soul. It's got rhythm. I even saw this one and I might put the link on the bottom where you had these Asians that were acting like they're Kojic Church, Church of God in Christ. We see Africans doing that. Africans, the preachers, are preaching like the so-called black Americans. They're dressing like the so-called black Americans. On Netflix, when you look at a lot of these movies now that's on Netflix that have so-called black people in it, a lot of them are Africans trying to pretend to be black. There's a very few so-called black Americans in there. These are Africans trying to speak the language, trying to sound like black Americans, trying to dress like black Americans, but yet they claim they're so proud of being African. And they want black Americans to share. Now, we want y'all to be African too. You're African because your skin is brown. That's false. I don't claim Africa, right? I am not an African, right? And my... My beginning is here. I was born in Pihokee, Florida. I'm a Floridian. That's where I was born, raised in New York. Right? But black Americans, stop explaining yourself. Don't even waste your time. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy to sit there and explain yourself. And they're laughing at you. They're laughing and making fun of you while you try to explain yourself to them. And they're asking questions about who you are and telling you who you're not and will get upset. We become 
bitter angry when you refuse to attach yourself to Africa. You are not African and you will be a fool if you claim it. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe until next time. I'm fearless.